The Tokyo Game Show opened on Thursday, with the Japanese gaming industry hoping to grow the country's budding esports market through more professional players, audiences and fans. At the annual extravaganza in Chiba, east of Tokyo, professional game players will compete in esports tournaments for eight game titles, including Street Fighter V Arcade Edition and Puzzle and Dragons with prize money of 10 million yen each. They will play on two big special stages each with seating for some 600 spectators. In a separate event, professional esports players from soccer team Arawa Red Diamonds and Dutch clubs Feyenoord Rotterdam faced off in US video game giant Electronic Arts Incorporated's football game FIFA 19. There will be a lot of esports tournaments from now on so I hope there will be more participants, said Tsubazu Ahara who represented Japan and won gold along with partner Noki Sujimura during the Asian Games in Indonesia this month, where esports debuted as a demonstration event. Starting as a virtual unknown and claiming victories one by one, there is a chance to become the winner, as I have been able to, said the 18-year-old Ahara, touting esports universality and accessibility to people of all ages, regardless of sex and physical ability. Esports is already popular in South Korea, the United States and Europe, but not in Japan where online competitive gaming is just beginning to gain popularity despite the country being home to famous game titles and a large gaming market. According to a report by Dutch company Newzu, the Japanese gaming market is expected to be the third largest in the world in 2018, growing 15.1% from a year earlier to $19.2 billion. Top is China at $37.9 billion followed by the United States at $30.4 billion, it said in a report as of April. Esports is gaining recognition with Japan and we see that the market is expected to grow further, said Chairman Hideki Okamura of the Japan Esports Union, an entity launched in February this year to promote esports. What's important is that we organize opportunities and create an environment for more players to compete with one another and test their skills to increase their number and level of skills, Okamura said. Okamura cited a survey conducted in July that showed 41.7% of respondents in Japan have now heard of esports, compared to just 14.4% a year ago. Kenneth Fock, president of the Asian Electronic Sports Federation said he hoped the debut of sports at the Asian Games, the world's largest multi-sport event after the Olympics, also helped to raise its profile in Japan. Esports will be included officially during the 2022 Asian Games in Hangzhou, China.